Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you the end of April 2020 reading, baby. Yes, thank you in advance. Your likes, share, subscribes, comments. I love your love, your emails, love tokens. Thank you so much. I am now taking personal appointments. If you've already booked with me, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Um, guys, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, Martians, Nodes, doesn't matter to me, okay? Cross watchers, I am a snitch, I'm telling you now, okay? I love you too, but please, don't curse me in the comments, all right? Uh, guys, everything is pre-shuffled and upright. If it comes out reversed on the clarifier, I will read it as such, and I don't read from the floor. Listen... Pre-shuffle energy. Uh, tell me the truth. Seriously, Caps. I mean, I'm not going to tell nobody. Did y'all really put somebody out during quarantine? Because um, that's what I'm the, the, the feeling I'm getting. I feel like somebody got put out during quarantine. Caps. I know y'all vicious, but tell me you didn't actually say get out during quarantine. Some of you even called the cops because I saw the uh, judgment twice. Okay? Twice mean <laughs> ah! but y'all tired tired of being tired i understand truly all right with this nine of wands energy shoot you like look I, I only got a little bit left in me and mother lover you can't have it how about that you tired of the foolishness you tired of the illusion the illusion okay with this seven of cups all right, the illusion of, uh, yeah, I'm, this is really happening fast, and this is really true love, and you're really the one. I can see it clearly now. It, it's an It was an illusion, okay? And I think that you guys with this Two of Wands energy is deciding for yourself, you know, uh, to choose yourself because you know they still lying. Mm, Five of Swords energy. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Guys, this person is still not being uh, completely honest, still playing games, rather, mind games, you know, mind manipulation. And you don't want to be bothered with that, with that four of cups. You're over it. So while you're trying to manifest your next move uh, because of this either third party situation or heartbreak, because um, you know, it's a younger energy. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's a lover or a child you know, uh, you know, your child, but, uh, you're trying to manifest your next move. And uh, basically to the point, like, you know what, you can take your stuff and I'll just keep what's mine and, and you can leave. Okay. Period. Take what's yours. I'll keep what's mine. You can leave. All right. Intuition kicks in all the way around and sparks uh of course because you know there's always the comeback and there's the slow comeback all right your intuition is on point though because they still coming back as a page all right uh you know i'm going to do better this is my proof and they moving slow as usual because this person is really taking a long time to mature we talked about this in your last reading it's taking them a long time to mature so that energy is still stands at this point um and they're still um entertaining a third party situation some of them and you're really just trying to get at your coin and you want them to get at a coin okay but they want to run around town telling all your house business why is you telling everybody my business that's how i feel like you feeling about that caps and this causing ruckus you know because you check them on it so, yeah, there's some arguing and some bickering about it. And now while you're trying to figure out what's your next move, because something has to change and a change is going to happen with this death energy with four swords. It's either you or them. Somebody is going to take a nap and, and wake up a completely different person. You understand me? And that's not literal. That's figurative, guys. All right. Um, but of course, now we have another apology. Still a page still a page all right and you know they're meeting you uh, at this point as a page because at this point you can't even understand them unless you dumb yourself down because they won't refuse to grow up to your level 
You understand what I'm saying? Cats. Oh, you know what? But once you do that, judgment is called because it's not for you to bring yourself down. It's for them to come up to your level. But it's almost as if you got to act like you got to play dumb so you can understand and have a, a, a conversation with this individual. Because when you speak on your terms and on your level, it seems like they don't understand. You got to come down a little bit. You got to bring that vocabulary down a little bit. You got to say things like ain't and got before, you know, they can process what it is that you're trying to say. But judgment calls on that. Okay, divine steps in. Because you shouldn't have to do all that. That's just too damn much. Period. And look what's behind it. Ten of Cups. So we have a new idea. We have a new venture. We have a new prospect. We got a new boom, boom, boom stick, baby. You know I love me new boomstick. I know what that is. Oh, hello. But this boomstick is coming in. And look, with the <laughs> King of Swords, it's coming straight forward. Straight up. <laughs> oh, caps, y'all so bad. Y'all so bad. <laughs> but it's coming in straight. It's coming in harsh. That conversation is going to be harsh. Because this is that, that like I said, that death energy brings about the change. I believe in you. I believe that you say, uh, you come up with something, uh, some kind of plan, plot strategy and say, look, I'm going to be happy. This is how I'm going to be happy. And you can either conform or buy. There's the door. So it calls somebody to go in the hermit mode and they don't know what to do again, again. Because this is how they, you know, always wind up. You know, they, 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 they go internal and they shut down and then they leave and then come back. And like, this is just over and over and over again. So here we coming back again with another apology. Cap, I can't live without you. I can't see. I can't move. I can't think. You know, I need to be with you. We need each other. Okay? We need each other. All right? And I want to make this uh, right. I want to seriously commit to, you know... Uh, this bond, what I'm supposed to be doing, I really understand. And boom, they lying again. Caps. I, I just want to stop there because at that point, I was like pissed going through your pre-shuffle energy. Because I'm over it. I know you're over it. I'm over it. I'm not kidding. It's taken this person so long to get it. It's it, to the point that it's draining you because I'm tired. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, whew, we need to do the oracle. See, you got me all discombobulated. Sacral chakra centers you. You know what you want. Okay? This is equivalent to I want. Okay? Water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I want. I want this. I want that. I want it this way on this day in that color. Period. This is what I want. That's where I think you are right now. You know what I mean? You you just, this is what I want, period. If you don't like it, there's the door, okay? There's the door. What's crowning you is memories of love. Again, more water energy, a lot of emotion here on the board. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is nostalgia. You know, maybe remembering a time when things were good, a time when things were happy, or remembering a better time with someone else, you know? You never know. Past energy, emotional withdrawal, more water energy, okay? This is, uh, you know, uh, self-reflection, uh, separation, trying to figure out what's what, you know, equivalent to maybe like the eight of cups where you just, like you, you were, you're over it. And I think you've been over it for quite some time, okay? Uh, great thing, moving towards, oh. Uh, the light, the sun, the joy, the happiness, the bliss, the, oh my goodness, I am just overjoyed. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Finally, I'm happy. Future energy. I love this. Okay. Now what's going to undermine you from getting to that? Patience. 
patience with that individual? I don't think so. I think this speaks more to, you know, this is representational of, of temperance in the writer. I think this speaks more to your balance. Okay. I think uh, you're discombobulated at this point. All right. I think that because you're discombobulated with this back and forth, up and down with this other person that's uh, sucking off of your energy, it's causing you to um, maybe uh, make some choices that you wouldn't normally make had you been thinking with a clear head. You, you're going off of impulse. You understand what I'm saying? All right, transformation at the bottom of the deck. So we're calling on death energy again, Scorpio energy. Yes, yes, yes. Something is going to change. Look under that, love begins, okay? So happiness is coming. It is coming. So let's see where it's coming from. Let's see if your person finally decides to grow up or is there somebody new coming in? I'm excited. Past energy, emotional withdrawal for, thank you, Capricorn, oh, Emperor, okay, you bossed up, yeah, you definitely bossed up, Aries and Taurian energy, the Emperor is focused, a go-getter, uh, you know, the CEO of the COO, okay, the boss, private contractor, whatever, okay, but the Emperor is cut and dry on his decision, you know, no means no, then don't ask me no more. Okay, so this is the energy that you're coming from. Let's see what brought this on. Emperor energy, clarify, please. Emperor energy for Capricorn. Clarify the emperor for Capricorn, please. Can we clarify? Can we get a card? Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Tired of juggling. Back and forth. All right, two of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Tell me more, please. Past energy. Tell me more, please. Thank you. King of Cups here. Drinking a little bit. Very emotional. Oh, wow. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion here, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of emotion. And I want to say it's a lot of love, but it's not a love that I'm feeling. It's, I'm feeling just overwhelmed you know what i'm saying like you just i feel like I'm, i feel overwhelmed with just uh, like that i don't even know how to describe that what i'm feeling right now but that's how i feel tell me more pass energy please clarify thank you i appreciate you yeah so because it's taken too long for the change death energy reverse yeah i think in the past it was just taken too like we talked about this though we talked about this the last couple of readings okay you had to really boss up and put your foot down um instead of going back and forth with this individual because they was playing games even though it hurt you you know because they wouldn't change you know what i'm saying sacral chakra talk about the current energy thank you i appreciate you yep four of cups you know what you want and what you don't want period okay four of cups represent uh pessimism like what i don't want queen of cups coming out okay the mothering nurturing loving energy cancer pisces scorpio more emotion more emotion you want somebody that that's loving you the way you loving them you know, thank you. And not coming with this bull crap no more. Stop. Why are we always getting the seven of swords? That's a, these are the same cards we just had from your, thank you, from your pre-shuffle. Look, six of cups, more emotion. So, you know, you know what you want. You know what you don't want. Sacred chakra, four of cups. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. You know, uh, you want this uh, person to be, uh, you know, equal to what you're giving, okay? Because you're being mothering and nurturing. And guys, you know, this is not gender, okay? This is uh, energy, okay? But you're being mothering and nurturing and loving and trying to, um, I'm not saying raise, I'm saying mold, mold 
this person, all right? But they fight you tooth and nail at every turn, tooth and nail at every turn. And you're just trying to show them, uh, you know, uh, 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 what it feels like to have a true commitment, uh, a true relationship, you know, one filled with love. Why is uh, patience undermining this? Thank you. Wow. Ace of Swords. I think that you actually either don't see how this can be, how this can be um, made right made uh equal like you don't you don't see it um getting better let's say it like that tell me more yeah this person is still young page page of swords still talking trash off the side of their head not making no sense <sighs> not making no money ten of pentacles reverse tell me more thank you Empress energy. Wow. Uh, you know, the Empress is fertile, abundant, um, uh, knows who she is, knows her worth. Okay. Very intuitive. Um, she enters the room and, and just demands attention. Okay. But all of this is undermining, uh, all of this energy is undermining your process to happiness. So this is the lack of knowing who you are and, you know, uh, the lack of knowing your worth and the, or, and holding back your, uh, intuitive gifts. And you, you understand what I'm saying? N like not stepping into what you know is inside of you. Because uh, in holding back, holding back all of these things, because remember, these are clarifying uh, your uh, patience, okay, or your temperance, rather, your balance. All of these things are clarifying your balance because it, it, this person is just energetically draining you. That's really where we are, to be honest, okay? Talk about memories of love, crowning this read for, thank you. Oh, wow. There was a big change. Somebody feeling left out in the cold. <laughs> I, I, I think you put somebody out, Caps. Caps, it's quarantine. Y'all can't put nobody out in quarantine. Come on now. You know they're going to call the people, the, the, the police. <laughs> I can't laugh at that. God forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I got to get better with that. If I offend anybody with my laughter, please charge it to my head and not my heart. Okay. Um, yeah, but this is, you know, you come all this way full circle to end up nowhere. But, you know, all this way full circle, this is not you that I think this is more so your person to end up nowhere. Or maybe this is you because you, it's just clarifying memories of love, you know, to find yourself defending, you know, your, your movements, defending your actions, defending your peace, defend, the, the, defending your home. Shoot, you know, wow, hold on, clarify, thank you. Yep, here we go. Three of swords again. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like it. Pineapples. Darn it. Because this is a lot of heartbreak here, okay? And a lot of emotion and a lot of um, regret and depression. I don't like none of it, Caps. I don't like it. Let's get to the sun. All right. Let's pull some good energy out here. Tell me about this. Thank you. Oh, page of wands reverse. So maybe somebody grows up. Let's see. Page of wands reverse. Tell me more, please. With thank you. Ooh, they got a coin, baby. Ace of Pentacles. Now, you know, this might be a move or a new job or a promotion. Something uh, tangible to your foundation. Tell me more. 
Thank you. Then the temperance seven. Okay, so now we're getting balance. Now we're getting peace. Now we're doing equal give and take. Oh, okay. And we have options. So is this options or illusion? Please clarify the damn. Can I get a sentence out? Seven of Cups, and we have an Eight of Pentacles reverse. Huh. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles in the upright is working on uh, your goals, working on your foundation, working on your home, working on your family, working on, you know, things that are tangible to you or to your foundation, Okay. Seven of Cups, you know, represents either options or illusions, or it could be too many things on your plate. So it looks like with Temperance and the Ace of Pentacles right there, I'm thinking that your plate is getting ready to clear. You're getting rid of the bull. That's what that is. You're getting ready to put this rock sack down and take off. Let me have one more on the future energy. Future energy, please. Tell me more. This one. Thank you. Look, judgment. Yeah. Divine judgment is called and it changes everything. So this is this burden is going to be lifted from you with or without your permission. I'm going to tell you that. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Capricorns. Clarify judgment, please. Okay, hold on. Sidebar, you said sidebar. Hold on. Hold on, guys. My guys are calling for a sidebar. This one. Okay. Oops. Judgment. Thank you. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Love coming in. You had that on the smaller ones, didn't you? Ace of Cups, judgment. Please clarify judgment for Capricorn. Judgment. Judgment and Ace of Cups, please clarify. Oh, there we go. We have a magician reverse. Something. Nobody is uh, yeah, you're gonna nobody no longer playing games. Or you're going to at least have a, a clear view. Tell me about this uh, Magician Reverse, Ace of Cups, and Judgment. Please clarify. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're so decent. Ah, King of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, the World. Yeah, the Magician in being in reverse, the Judgment is going to be called because you're going to actually get to see um, that your love, okay, for this individual has been an illusion, okay? And um, even though you made major changes for the union, it looks like with the Five of Cups, um, you, you know, it's there's going to be a loss taken, okay? And it's going to hurt, to be honest. And you might be do a little drinking because of it with this King of Cups and uh, Ten of Swords. It's going to hurt. But it's from the divine. So just know that this process is for your benefit. It's going to bring uh, a lot of load off of your shoulders. Don't forget you had the Ace of Pen I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles uh, reverse and the Seven of Cups with temperance. Your plate is about to be cleared. Guys, with or without your permission. Bottom of the deck here, we have the star. That's your new spiritual journey being sparked. Absolutely. Bottom of the deck here, boom, lovers, Gemini energy. Absolutely. So yes, for the ones who are, this is connecting to a lover, um, it looks like even though it's been a whirlwind of a relationship uh, with the lover's energy and then all the emotion that you're feeling, it cannot be denied. You had the Six of Cups out here. You have the world. It was definitely a, a divine uh, connection, okay? Um, so nobody is uh, discounting uh, your, your feelings. I just I, I want to be very clear on that, okay? Um, and it looks like that... Divine is going to step in and make this person either step their game up or remove them from 
uh, your journey because you have a higher calling. You're going into your sun energy. You're going into with this Ace of Pentacles. You have temperance. You had star at the bottom of your deck. And don't forget your transformation, your death energy at the bottom of your oracles. You understand? Now, for those who are the younger energy are connecting uh, to their child or a, a, some, a chilled child in your house, um, it looks like they're getting ready to have a rude awakening to grow up, okay? And it's going to hurt you because you're a parent. Nobody wants to correct their child, uh, you know, or see them go through any kind of hard times. But a uh, divine is about to step in, all right? And unfortunately, get them a whooping, period. All right. So in this time, while you're um, tap into that spiritual journey and tap into that temperance energy um, to try to give yourself uh, some peace in your heart and allow them to go through their process um, so that you don't intervene in what God has for them. You understand what I'm saying? OK. All right, guys, let's put some rebel on it. Capricorn energy. Thank you. Capricorn energy. Final messages please thank you final messages final messages for capricorn please thank you thank you final messages for capricorn please last one well damn last one all right caps don't believe every shitty thought you have okay Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Damn. Caps, love, baby. Yes. I love you. Get some. Give some. It will cheer your ass up. Oh, I love y'all. What did I just say? Laugh. You see that? <laughs> sometimes you gotta laugh laugh through your pain and you'd be surprised of the endorphins that it'll release into your brain and it'll twinkle down to your booty and then you'll just pop 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 i'm telling you <laughs> where the f is your sense of humor guys come on <sighs> shit's going down with your job reevaluate Change your perspective or F and quit. That's probably for all of us, especially during this time. But ask an effing expert, okay? Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. That's including YouTube, okay? If you need a professional's opinion, get it. And there is no greater professional that I know than my creator. You understand me? I'm telling you. Guys. I enjoyed sharing this reading with you. I hope you did as well. If it resonates, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, if it doesn't, check your moon uh, rising. Please do not take this energy with you guys. Leave it here for someone else. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. Talk to you next time. Bye.